I almost forgot to do an intro for this video, so here it is. Today in this video, we're gonna be growing four different heads of lettuce under this Mars Hydro FC 3000 strip light. And we're gonna be comparing two different types of powder nutrients, both from General Hydroponics. Now, obviously we're not gonna be pitting the company against itself. This is really just to see if we can do away with using Maxi Grow and just use a Maxi Bloom. The main difference between these two different types of nutrients is actually just that the Maxi Bloom has half the nitrogen and three times the amount of phosphorus versus the Maxi Grow. Obviously the phosphorus doesn't really matter as much, but the nitrogen is really the biggest uh, factor here. So right now they're actually looking like they're neck and neck as far as all these four different heads are looking, but um, that might change. My prediction is actually that after a certain period of time, the Maxi Grow lettuce heads are actually gonna be growing uh, or continuing to grow while the Maxi Bloom is gonna run out of nitrogen and start to slow down and taper off. That's my prediction, but we'll find out when we come back. All right, it has been two weeks since the first part of this video, and we're about halfway through this experiment. And for the most part, they all look identical at this point, and they all look really healthy. The only one that looks a little bit different is the one in the back right there, and then by different I mean maybe just a little bit smaller than the rest of them. But I can't really say that that's because of the using Maxi Bloom, because this one up front is actually pretty much the same size as the rest of them. So at this point, not really sure how it's going to play out. Um, as I predicted before, uh, they're probably going to grow uh, pretty much the same until the Maxi Bloom side over here runs out of nitrogen and then the Maxi Grow continues to grow. But we'll find out in a little while. All right, it has been almost exactly two weeks since the last segment of this video, and this is where I'm going to end the experiment and weigh all of these heads. Although it's pretty obvious which one the winner is, and this played out exactly as I predicted. Uh, the Maxi Grow, which had more nitrogen, uh, started getting larger, or I should say continued to grow, versus the Maxi Bloom, which uh, a week, uh, week and a half ago pretty much stopped growing at this point. So it's pretty obvious which ones are actually bigger here, and that's just because they had more nitrogen. Before I go ahead and weigh these, and I'm only going to be taking a dry weight, by the way, because it's pretty obvious which ones were larger if I take a wet weight. So obviously, you know, the Maxi Grow is going to be the heavier plants. Um, so we'll take a dry weight only after I dry them out in the oven. But what I wanted to show here was actually, uh, well, you can kind of already see the obvious. The plant over here on the left, the Maxi Grow, uh, what's interesting about this one, and it just started to wilt. I was kind of waiting to see what would happen. I wanted these to grow the most. Um, this is bolting. I mean, look at the, look how much it's actually growing upward in this stalk here. You know, this would be right before it starts to flower. And this is not because of the lighting. Um, and a lot, in some cases, if you have like, uh, you know, a lot of red light, it will cause a plant to bolt. But in this case, that's not the case at all. If you look at these plants over here on the Maxi Bloom side, these are really compact. I mean, they're so compact. I mean, this is dense. Like this is very firm in the middle here and they're not bolting whatsoever, not one or the other. And both of the ones here on the left from the Maxi Grow were starting to bolt. Um, but obviously you can see here, there's a lot of deficiency happening right now because I mean, obviously the Maxi Bloom had less nitrogen. You can see that on these lower leaves, they're very pale looking to where, the, to where the new leaves on the top are nice and green and very healthy looking actually, for the most part. Um, even if you look closely here, you can even see these little brown specks. That's also a deficiency. I can't remember offhand what type it is. It might be potassium or something, it doesn't matter. Um, anyways, I was letting these go until we got to this point and these, none, these are not growing anymore whatsoever. Um, and, and neither really were these for that matter. And they started to wilt because I was letting the, the solution basically just kind of go away and be uh, absorbed. Um, but that's the one I wanted to show here. I thought it was very interesting because you would assume that the maxi bloom side where you would, you know, it's a, a flowering nutrient basically, um, or at least to encourage flowering, you would think that these would start to bolt or show more signs of wanting to produce flowers, but that's not really the case. So it's, you know, it wasn't, it's not the nutrients that's really affecting the flowering, um, and it's not the lighting that's affecting the bolting. So it's kind of like, when you look at it, it's kind of contradictory to what you would assume. But uh, I just wanted to show that real quick. So we're gonna go ahead and dry these out and then we'll weigh them and, and see what we get for dry weight. There are two reasons why I would use the Maxi Bloom again to grow lettuce heads versus the Maxi Grow. And one reason is because I really liked that the leaves on the lettuce heads that were grown in the Maxi Bloom were a little more firm. Uh, and also less elongated. The other added benefit, I think, that I didn't really show in video here is that the plants that were grown in the Maxi Bloom actually consumed half the amount of water. Now, I know someone's gonna say, well, it's not fair if you, uh, 
if you don't let the plants grow and consume all the water and all the nutrients that were in the container. Well, here's the thing, you know, if there's no nitrogen left, if they both consumed all the nitrogen that's in there, they're not gonna grow anymore. All it's gonna do is become deficient and just slowly basically die away. They're not gonna continue to grow. So you can only grow with what you have. And we're also looking at only basically one aspect of this. You know, you can't have your cake and eat it too. So you gotta, you know, if, you, if I wanted to do experiments like that, uh, where I let all the nutrients and all the water be consumed in the containers, uh, I would do that. I would look at just that aspect, but I can't go back and, and do, try to, you know, answer a different question in the same exact experiment. It just doesn't work. You know, I have done other experiments with other videos where I've done stuff like that though. And, uh, you know, you get different results, but I'm going to go ahead and dry these out here and come back in a couple hours and weigh them. All right. After several hours of baking, the lettuce is all dried out. Nice and crispy. And here is the dry weight of both the lettuce heads grown in the maxi bloom, and that is at 32.4 grams. And here is the dry weight of both lettuce heads grown in the maxi grow, and that's at 39.4 grams. So there's obviously a little bit of a difference there. Well, I hope this video was helpful to some and maybe answered some of the questions people might have had about comparing these two different types of nutrients when growing leafy greens. I think really what it comes down to is personal preference though. Uh, you'll have to make that own decision for yourself. So if you want more production, obviously go with the Maxi Grow. If you want maybe a different quality plant, use less water, go with the Maxi Bloom. And maybe you don't even need the Maxi Grow at all. You can just buy one type of nutrient. Uh, also, I've been running this light here. This is the Mars Hydro FC 3000. I've been running this at 25% this entire time. If I turn it all the way up, it's kind of give you an idea of the output. So it's quite a bit brighter when you turn it all the way up. So you can grow plenty of, plenty of different types of plants with this light, taller plants and plants that just need more light in general. In the next episode, episode two, we're gonna be doing the exact same experiment, but with pepper plants. And I'm gonna be using a type of pepper plant that's basically a jalapeno without the spiciness. So stay tuned for that. And also I'm gonna be growing those with this new Mars Hydro FC E3000 light. It's basically the Mars Hydro FC 3000 with some updates. Uh, a uh, two to name basically you just have these strips here which are completely adjustable you can move these back and forth on the entire rail and they've also spaced out the diodes differently on these uh, which gives you basically just better more even coverage so these strip lights already have really good coverage and, and very evenly distributed light uh, but with these with the updated diodes and the way they're spaced out is that you have less of a concentration towards the middle, so you get less of a hot spot in the middle and more towards the outer edges. And these strips have quite a bit of diodes on there as well. So that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.